Greetings and welcome to another speed build with animal presentation. Today I will again build a greenhouse for our animal to be presented in the Colari Lappi Zoo in the cold arctic area and this is a hominid primate. Specifically that one which the scientists have discovered last. The story of the discovery of the bonobo began in a Belgian museum in 1929 and at first it was thought to be a subspecies of the chimpanzee, which is why it was called at that time pygmy chimpanzee. More specifically, it was first found and recognized as a separate taxon in 1928 by the German zoologist, mammalogist and herpetologist in Schwarz, based on a skull in the Tervura Museum in Belgium, and the skull was previously thought to have belonged to a young chimpanzee. Schwartz published his findings only in 1929 and classified the bonobo as a pygmy chimpanzee with the scientific name Pan Satyrus Paniscus. It was raised to separate species with the name of Pan Paniscus in 1933 by the American zoologist Harold Jefferson Coolidge Jr., who was the founder of the International Union for Conservation of Nature and the World Wide Fund for Nature. This is how it became one of the two species of the Pan genus, besides the chimpanzee. And while the chimpanzees have four subspecies, the bonobo has none. The main differences in behavior between bonobos and chimpanzees were first detailed in the early 1950s by the Austrian zoologist Edward Paul Tratz, the founder of Haus der Natur in Salzburg and the director of the Berlin Zoo, Lutz Heck, who was a German zoologist, writer and researcher. They recommended the name Bonobo for the species, which presumably came from a typo on a shipping crate from the town of Bolobo on the Congo River, which is close to where the first Bonobo specimens were captured in the 1920s. Regardless of these, even before they were declared a separate species, the American psychologist and primate researcher Robert Yerkes noted behavioral differences between bonobos and chimpanzees. In 2017, researchers from George Washington University published a study showing that bonobos diverged from common chimpanzees approximately between 2 to 2.5 million years ago. In 2017, researchers from George Washington University published a study showing that bonobos diverged from common chimpanzees approximately between 2 to 2.5 million years ago, which from humans is said to be around 8 million years ago. So these two species are considered to be the closest relatives of Homo sapiens. Nowadays, bonobos live freely only in the Democratic Republic of Congo, in the 500,000 square kilometers area of the Congo Basin, and within that mainly in the 36,000 square kilometers Salonga National Park. While chimpanzees live on the north side of the Congo River, bonobos live on the south side of the river. Slightly different in weight and height from chimpanzees, bonobos are slightly smaller and slimmer and have relatively long limbs. Their heads are smaller, their lips are pinker, their faces are darker, they have tail knots until adulthood and they have longer parted hair on their heads. They probably go to a different hairdresser. Some individuals may have sparser and thinner fur. However, these differences are so small that basically, in the end, it can be said that they are roughly the same size, but among chimpanzees there are males that grow larger. Within the species, males are also slightly larger than females, yet they live in matriarchal groups, meaning the females lead them. The body weight of males varies between 34 and 65 kilograms, where males weigh on average of 45 kilograms, while females weigh only 33 kilograms on average. 
Their height at the withers is between 70 and 83 cm when standing on four legs, and between 110 and 120 cm when standing on two legs. They have a mixed terrestrial and arboreal lifestyle, and walking on two legs accounts only for 1% of walking on land in the wild. Beside that, they walk on all fours with clenched paws. During the day, they raid in small groups to gather food, but when it gets dark, they gather and spend the night in trees in nests built together. Groups gathered for the night can be up to a hundred individuals, a mix of females, males and cubs. Unlike other primates, as I mentioned, they live in matriarchal societies, where the females lead the troops and the sons of these females keep order among the males. Among primates after humans, this species communicates vocally the most and its communication also includes facial expressions and pointing with fingers. Bonobos are omnivores. Their food consists mainly of plants. 57% is fruit, supplemented with leaves, with honey, eggs, small vertebrates, such as squirrels or duikers. And they also eat the newly discovered species of truffle, the Hysterangium bonobo, which is named after this species. Contrary to their previously believed eating habits, that bonobos are more peaceful in this respect than chimpanzees, recent research showed that they also consume lower order primates in some cases. Moreover, in a case from 2008, there was one written case of, uh, how can I put this, necro-infant cannibalism, and uh, two other similar cases were also reported in 2016, but in those cases the necrophage part is not known. Bonobos use tools, and they have been seen using their teeth to carve spears for hunting. According to the findings of Dutch primate researcher and ethologist Franz de Waal, bonobos are capable of altruism, compassion, empathy, kindness, patience and sensitivity. But some dispute this, since de Waal observed bonobos in captivity rather than in the wild, where observation showed that the aggression of bonobos approaches the aggression of chimpanzees. You can read an article about this on planetzoo.hu website by Christian Poyer, according to which a bonobo observed and photographed in the wild showed empathic behavior towards a mongoose that otherwise serves as food. It caressed and released its prey. The bottom line is that another 2014 study confirms that bonobos are less aggressive than chimpanzees. Bonobos do not have a defined territory and their groups forage widely. Although the male is dominant in the male-female relationship, it does not win over the female by force and aggression, but by courting and giving gifts. Regardless this, the groups are led by females, and the status of the males depends on the status of their mothers. The top of the hierarchy is a group of high-ranking females and males, but this is usually led by an old, experienced female, who is the ultimate leader and decision-maker of the group. Females usually reach higher positions with experience, age and alliances, and when another female joins the group, the seniors protect her from harassment by the males. Males in the leading group can rank ahead of other males in the group, as well as non-dominant females. Their task is to coordinate, warn and protect the groups from predators such as pythons and leopards. When two groups of bonobos meet, they do not behave aggressively towards each other, but rather the whole group gives each other sexual pleasure. Aggression between males and females is rare, and males are tolerant with youngsters. 
they share their food with each other and even with foreign bonobos. Males form long-lasting friendships with females and female bonobos prefer to associate with and uh, mate with males that are respectful and obedient around them. Such alliances also help females keep out more undesirable males. Throughout life, bonobos retain their juvenile physical characteristics and behavior, which probably greatly inhibits aggression and allows bonobos who are unknown to each other to socialize freely with each other. Aging bonobos lose their playful tendencies and become noticeably more irritable as they age. This applies equally to both sexes. While in many species young males seek new groups as soon as they reach sexual maturity, in the case of bonobos young females leave when they become adults, to join another group, thus avoiding inbreeding. There are also counter examples to this, in the case where a young female's relationship with her mother is very strong. They form alliances and even mixed friendships, including mixed-gender hunting parties. According to one observation, a male bonobo once adopted its orphaned younger brother. It has also been observed that female bonobos raise juveniles from outside their community, so they also raise orphans. Bonobo mothers support their adult sons in conflicts with other males and help them develop better relationships with other females, increasing the chance of grandchildren, and even physically intervene to prevent other males from mating with their chosen daughter-in-law. Although, as I mentioned, the status of males is determined by the status of their mother, it is possible for motherless males to have higher ranks than those with mothers. Due to the promiscuous mating behavior of female bonobos, males cannot be sure which offspring is theirs. For this reason, mothers are fully responsible for parental care. Different bonobo communities prefer different prey and have different uh, hunting methods. In some groups only females hunt and prefer rodents, but in some groups both sexes hunt and monkeys are their favorites. Captive females form alliances to obtain their favorite food, and in many cases the male that does not back down despite the warning is even mutilated for this reason. Female bonobos in the wild, on the other hand, quietly and friendly ask the males for their favorite food, instead of forcibly confiscating it. Sexual activity generally plays an important role in bonobo societies. According to some scientists, it is used as a greeting, as a means of forming social bonds, and as a conflict solution, and also used as post-conflict reconciliation. This is the only species other than humans that has been observed to use the tongue when kissing and that they are also mating face to face. Although in the case of the latter, a pair of western gorillas was also photographed once in this way. When bonobos gain access to a new food source, Increased excitement usually leads to a communal pleasure-seeking activity. This is likely to reduce tension and promote peaceful eating. There are no permanent monogamous relationships and they do not discriminate based on age, but they avoid inbreeding. Sexual maturity is reached between the ages of 13 and 15. Females theoretically earlier, but in fact do not give birth before the age of 13-14. However, their reproduction rate does not exceed that of the common chimpanzee, but the estrus periods are longer. Gestation lasts an average of 240 days and the absence of menstruation after childbirth lasts almost a year. After a year the signs of estrus appear again, but regardless of this, 
the female is not yet capable of reproduction. They carry and nurse their babies for an average of four years and give birth every four and a half years. Soon after birth, they rejoin the group's pleasure-seeking activities. The lifespan of bonobos in captivity is around 40 years. It is unknown in the wild, but it is likely to be less than that. Although bonobos are more peaceful than chimpanzees, it is not true that they are not aggressive. In the wild, male bonobos are half as aggressive as male chimpanzees, but female bonobos are more aggressive than female chimpanzees. Both bonobos and chimpanzees are said to resort to physical aggression at least 100 times more often than humans. On the red list of the IUCN, the bonobo is in the endangered category, as their habitats are dwindling and hunting for their meat during the civil war greatly reduced their population. Their number is currently estimated at between 30,000 and 50,000. Nowadays there are so few left that they live in completely separate communities and this already threatens the survival of the species, as the females cannot migrate to a new group, thus increasing the chance of inbreeding. Because bonobos share their habitat with many people, the ultimate success of conservation efforts still depends on local community participation. There is strong local and widespread opposition to the establishment of national parks in the Congo, as indigenous human communities were previously driven out of their forest homes by the development of parks. In Salonga National Park, the only national park where bonobos live, according to surveys conducted since the 2000s, the bonobo, African forest elephant, okapi and other rare species have been decimated by poachers and the booming bushmeat trade. Conversely, there are areas where bonobos and ecological biodiversity still thrive without any defined park boundaries because of native beliefs against killing bonobos and other animals. Hybridization between chimpanzees and bonobos is not possible in the wild as they do not live in the same habitats, but in captivity five hybrid pregnancies were recorded between 1919 and 1992, between one male bonobo and two female chimpanzees. Two of the five were unsuccessful, but in three cases a bonobo-chimpanzee hybrid was born. Interestingly, the Great Ape Trust's two bonobos, Kanzi and Pamba Nisha, were taught how to communicate with a lexigram, that is using a keyboard with geometric symbols and being able to respond to spoken sentences. Kanzi has a vocabulary of over 500 English words and understands about 3000 spoken English words. More interestingly, Kanzi was observed to learn by observing the people trying to teach its mother and began to perform the tasks which were taught to its mother and some of which its mother could not learn. At the same time, Kanzi was also taught to use stone tools, but it did not use them in the same way as humans. Another interesting fact is that bonobos can feel joy and laugh. According to a study, tickled bonobos laughed at a higher frequency than humans, but their laughter resembled that the spectrographic pattern of human infants. Unfortunately, it is considered the rarest species in zoos and we cannot see bonobos in Hungary. Now, if you have liked the video, press the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and check out the other animal videos. Remember, you can also help me out with the videos by joining the channel as a member. Join my Discord to talk with me, read interesting things on the planetzoo.hu website and always vote for the next animal. Thank you for watching, have a joyful day!